Quack. He ate it too. <laughs> oh, sorry, can't use that. I think it's a Thule though. Here he comes. Hey, yo. <laughs> What do you got going on, bud? I don't know. This could be Thule Town or it could be a nice walleye. I guess I could do a transducer <laughs> pole, maybe. Thank you, sir. Boy, that's full service right there. <laughs> this fish wanted it. I tell you what, it came up. I actually missed him earlier. Whiffed on it, but he didn't eat it very well. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's a Thule because of that. Uh, Malax right now is just a ton of Thule bees in it. But the walleyes have been coming out after dark, especially with this full moon. So what do we got here? It's just clear in the bottom. Oh, it's Mr. Walla. Still snagged her. <laughs> Almost did the quick. <laughs> did my best. Malax right now is absolutely full of fish like this. This one, a little bit better than 16, 17 inches. Absolutely beautiful fish. And they are down there in numbers right now. And most of the time, actually, after dark, we've been getting them on dead sticks. But it's a prime example of why you should be always working in jigging with every approach. Jigging does a couple different things. Number one, it brings in fish, right? I got a rattle spoon on right now. That fish probably came from way outside the cone. And you know what? Even if I wouldn't have caught this fish on that spoon, I might have caught him on one of my dead sticks. So it's always a good excuse to make sure you've got jigging setups down while you're complementing the dead sticks. Use it as a one-two approach. Never a bad idea to combo up on that. And he's definitely a releaser, so we're gonna set this guy free. Woo! I love it when they give you second chances. <laughs>